Good news, CDs are back. Friends, this is a bit of a first for my channel. I have news to report. I think I need some news music. Okay, that's enough of that. Credit in the description. I've been talking about vinyl, cassettes, CD, and other physical media from ancient history, or the land that time forgot, if you like. You can hear what I have to say in my revival series. Links in the description, but you probably won't like it. My gist is that these are all old formats that time should now forget. Yes, there are people who like vinyl. Yes, there are people who like cassette. But the biggest clamour against my perfectly well-reasoned arguments in my revival series has been from lovers of compact disc. Yes, that's what CD stands for. And not a lot of people know that. <laughs> that is, not many people know that. But if you like CD, I know why you like it. 16-bit uncompressed digital audio. It's a physical format that only robbers and burglars can take away from you. You pay once and listen forever. Yes, I get all of that. I really get it. But if I compare CD in its heyday, the year 2000, with streaming services now, I can listen to just about any music on the planet for less than the cost of one CD. Yes, love CD as much as you want at second-hand boot sale prices, but you wouldn't be comparing like with like. Get your second-hand CDs while you can before they become mass market and the price goes up again. Look what happened to vinyl. So that's my perspective. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just giving you a perspective to compare with your own. So on to the news. The good news for CD lovers. CD sales are booming. Yes, literally booming. I'm using the word literally in its common present day sense. I've been looking at figures published by the RIAA. You know, the Recording Industry Association of America. Those people who pirates think are the enemy. CD sales in 2021 went up from the previous year. This hasn't happened since 2000. All the way from 2000 to 2020 was a slippery slope in nowhere but the down direction. How much of a down? From 13.2 billion to 483.2 million. That's US dollars in the US of A. I suspect the rest of the world followed a similar trend. In percentage terms, that's a drop of 96.3%. I'm sure someone will check my maths in the comments, but it's a lot, a lot. Another comparison would be with the start of the digital audio revolution, when CD sales equaled 2020, which was around mid-1985 to mid-1986. Sales went up every year after that through to 2000. So how much did CD sales go up from 2020 to 2021? Nearly 21%. 21%. This isn't just a blip. 0.21% would have been a blip. 2.1%, a significant increase. 21%, well, that's a boom. I've used that word before, and again, I mean it literally. Okay, so what does this mean? Now, I'm speculating here, and I don't think anyone really does know what it really means, but it could mean this, that people have seen the error of their ways and have given up streaming for CD. <laughs> no. <laughs> streaming went up by nearly 23% from 2020 to 2021. Perhaps people are evolving from vinyl to CD. No, over the same period, vinyl went up 55%. Cassette sales figures, in comparison, are so low that the RIAA's chart doesn't show anything since 2006. But then that doesn't account for blank cassettes, does it? And we all know what they're used for. <laughs> so since CD, conventional red book CD, isn't recordable, migration from cassette surely can't be significant. I'm thinking that this bonus for the CD market must be new spend. People are spending less on other things and more on CD. Or perhaps they're shifting their investments from the stock market to what they think might be the collectibles and antiques of the future. So. Those were my answers to, so what does this mean? What about my answer to, what does this mean for you? If you're a music listener, then this is good news. Nothing has been lost from either the streaming or vinyl markets, and there is now an extra pool of money for labels to push products out on CD. Let's hope their mastering is good. So as a music listener, you have more stuff to buy. If you're a music creator, an artist, producer, or band, then you're quids in, as we like to say in the UK. More people are buying CD players or getting their old players out of the loft, and they want to play CDs of your music, 16-bit, uncompressed. So get out your master recordings, have some CDs pressed, and you have another item to go on your merch table, alongside your T-shirts, hats, stickers, patches, picks, keychains, pin badges, posters, totes, face masks. <laughs> and thank all of the most lordly gods of Valhalla 
CDs contain music. Your music. OK, that's all the news I have to report today. Let me know if you like it, and I'll put on my Clark Kent glasses and hound some more. See you soon. Oh, by the way, in 2021, streaming subscriptions outsold CD by 1,472.1%.